the candles suit in this deck um, is supposed to represent emotions, relationships, and imagination. The members of its court are creative and harmonious, according to the book. And this card, I think, is supposed to represent something, you know, something under a passion. I feel like for me, though, this card is about starting something new. Something I've always wanted to do and didn't think it was possible and didn't think I could. But I, it's my passion. It's the thing I want most. And if so, if you were looking for a sign that it's, you know, time to do that, it, this is your sign. Card number two is the nine of candles. We're still in our candles deck. Nine is usually endings for new beginnings, um, but I kind of feel like this one might be a little bit more like I've overcome, I've gone through, and now I'm at the end. And honestly, I want to take a nap. <laughs> I want to take a nap with this card, so I feel like... The meaning of this card is, you know, I've come to the end of a very long situation. I've come through it. I've lasted this long. My candle is still lit. It's still burning, but I need to give myself a break. So that is card number two. For card number three, we're still in the candle suit, uh, but this one's the Knight of Candles. And honestly, knights make me feel proud and fearless. And I feel like that's what this card is talking about. I feel like um, the message from this card is to go out there and do it and don't be afraid. You know, sometimes the consequences might be great and sometimes not, but it's always worth the try because you never know until you try. It's kind of what this makes me think of. And plus, oh my God, it's like the black flame candle. <laughs> so, uh, you know, lots of craziness ensues when you light a black flame candle, but you know, in the end it turns out good, right? <laughs> so it's always worth the risk. So this is card number four, the Knight of Potions. Now, according to the book, the suit of potions represents adventure, creativity, and inspiration. Its members, the members of its court are courageous and passionate. So honestly, I don't know. I don't know about that. This card, I don't know. According to the book, it's supposed to have something to do with uh, the person is a giving soul who fills the lives of those around them with affection and care. They may have a flair for the overdramatic. But you know what? This is not what I get from this card. I get from this card um, a message that of, of change, of redirection, of, of uh, something that needs to, to change. Because, I mean, obviously that's the life potion that they're holding in their hands. And we know what the life potion does. But I kind of feel like it is a representative of change as opposed to um, the original meaning of the card. Like, you know, perhaps this vial, even though they appear to be holding it, it almost kind of looks just out of their reach if you look at it in a, from a different perspective. So maybe it's about to fall. <laughs> so we're, we're, we're thinking change with this card. So if you're waiting for change or if you feel change is coming, this is what this card represents. At least that's what I feel from it. Card number five, we're still in the suit of potions. Um, we're with the page of potions. According to the book, the page of potions is a sensitive soul full of creative inspiration and optimism. Their endless potential inspires a renewed sense of wonder within the hearts of others. 
They should accept guidance when it is offered for the, they have the capacity for greatness. Um, honestly, this card tells me that something is on the horizon. It's not change and I don't feel like I'm afraid of it, but almost like it's coming regardless and I'm looking forward to it. That's what I feel from this. Like, you know how he's pointing, see how he's pointing over here? Look, they conjure. But it's not foreboding. It's change that, you know, not change, but it's an event, an occurrence that's coming that will actually um, perpetuate quite a bit, quite a bit of, of, of forthcoming opportunity. So that's what I get from this card. Um, if the original meaning means something to you, you can take that as well, but I get that from this card. So this is card number six, the queen of lightning. So we're in another suit. In this suit, lightning represents conflict. In this deck, I should say lightning, the suit of lightning represents conflict, power, and judgment. The members of its court are powerful and keen. Um, and the queen, honestly, according to the book, the queen of lightning may come across as uncaring, but this is only because she disdains the lies of others. Her sharp eyes cut through to the heart of any matter. Her advice should only be sought when one is prepared for the truth, for she is brutally honest. Um, okay. If that original definition makes sense to you, fabulous. Take it for that. But for this, I see something that is like I'm kind of stuck. I feel like I'm stuck and I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. And I don't want to be there. <laughs> But I'm there and I feel like this is, I feel like honestly, this should have been card number one. <laughs> um, you know, if we were doing a spread, maybe this might have been card number one because I'm breaking that cycle with this. I'm breaking it. I'm throwing it off because now I realize that it's there. So if you feel like you're stuck, don't worry. <laughs> you have the power. You've always had the power. Oops, sorry. Wrong witch movie. Um, <laughs> you have the power to break through. So here we go. These were our six cards.